received a question on how a four-way switch is wired. So I thought I'd just show a quick diagram. And whenever you have three switches that operate a light, you've got a pair of three-way switches. So you've got on the three-way switch a dark colored screw terminal and two light colored screw terminals. Then you're going to have a ground. And on the other three-way switch, you're going to have two light colored screw terminals, a dark colored screw ter terminals, and a ground. And then the four-way switch, which is always in between those two three-way switches, is really dependent on the manufacturer. Some manufacturers are going to have two dark colored screws that are going to go to one three-way switch and then two light colored screws going to the other. Or they're going to have these marked input and output. But there'll be some type of differentiation between these two screws, whether they're top or the side, and each manufacturer is different. And the way this works is coming from your service panel, you're going to have a hot wire. Your common wire is going to be connected to the dark colored screw on the first three-way switch. And then your two travelers are connected to your light colored screws going to one group on the four-way switch. And then going to the other three-way switch, we have our travelers. And then that last dark colored screw terminal is our common going up to the light. So if you have three switches that operate a light or a group of lights, you have a pair of three-way switches and a four-way switch. If you had four or five, anything over three, you're going to have just additional four-way switches in between. You're always going to have a pair of three-way switches, one connected to the service panel and one going up to the light, and everything else in the middle is going to be four-way switches.